The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is humanity's latest cosmic eye, reaching across unimaginable distances and capturing light that has journeyed for over 13 billion years. This light tells more than just a story of time. It reveals the evolution of our universe, shaped and stretched by its ongoing expansion. As we peer back at the most distant galaxies, we virtually witness an ancient era, moving closer and closer to the inception of the cosmos. The Big Bang The Big Bang Theory, a foundational narrative of modern cosmology, boldly suggests that our universe had a distinct beginning and is finite in age. Yet, from its inception, this singular cosmic origin has been met with skepticism, and challenges to its validity persist even in mainstream cosmology. For decades, the Big Bang Theory held strong, especially after the discovery of the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, in the 1960s. This background radiation, a faint, all-encompassing hum across the universe, aligned perfectly with predictions of a hot, dense early universe. However, groundbreaking observations by the JWST in recent years have revived old doubts and raised new questions about the Big Bang's legitimacy. Through the astonishing clarity of the JWST, NASA's cosmic time machine, we have seen clusters of ancient galaxies far larger and more numerous than expected, challenging our understanding of the universe's earliest stages. As the telescope peers back to the time when the first galaxies formed, it offers humanity an unprecedented view, one that the Hubble Space Telescope could not fully access. Hubble was simply not sensitive enough to detect the extremely faint, redshifted light of these earliest galaxies. But with JWST's state-of-the-art capabilities, we are gazing all the way back to the brink of time itself. As we journey into this unknown territory, we come face to face with an age-old enigma. How did the first galaxies truly form, and does the universe as we know it really have a single, definitive beginning? The earliest universe was a hot, opaque place, so dense that light itself could not freely travel. This means that no matter how powerful our telescopes become, we cannot observe any further back with light. However, we are not limited to light alone. New technological advancements are opening the door to the detection of gravitational waves from colliding black holes, which could serve as a fresh avenue to peer back into the universe's infancy, perhaps even into the very phenomenon we call the Big Bang. The roots of the Big Bang theory and its growing skepticism stretch back to the 1920s and 1930s, when astronomers first observed that distant galaxies appeared to be moving away from us. This discovery, coupled with Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, set the stage for the Big Bang model. Einstein's equations predicted that a static universe would be unstable, requiring either contraction or expansion. Observing this expansion suggested that galaxies must have been closer together in the distant past, implying an explosive beginning for the universe. The universe's expansion has several profound implications. Not only do objects move farther apart, but the light emitted from them stretches, shifting to longer wavelengths as time goes on. Since wavelength corresponds to energy, with shorter wavelengths being more energetic, this redshifting means the universe has been cooling as it ages. By rewinding this cosmic expansion, we reach a point where everything would have been so hot and dense that neutral atoms couldn't exist, leading to a uniform, searing hot glow. This glow was confirmed in 1964 when astronomers Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson stumbled upon the cosmic microwave background, a pervasive radiation field faintly echoing the universe's fiery origin. Yet, as the JWST pushes the boundaries of cosmic observation, scientists are discovering features in the early universe that strain the traditional Big Bang narrative. We see vast luminous galaxies where there should be none, clustering in ways that defy expectations. So, if the Big Bang theory alone doesn't explain these anomalies, what else might? At the heart of the Big Bang theory lies a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature where the laws of physics break down. This is where space and time supposedly begin. But this concept, while powerful, has limitations. Imagine trying to describe the entirety of existence compressed into an infinitely dense point. This is where our understanding hits a wall. Even though many aspects of the Big Bang model have been supported by observations and laboratory experiments, this initial singularity remains an enigma, 
begging the question, could the universe have had a different kind of beginning? In its journey to understand the cosmos, science has found ways to recreate similar conditions. Quark-gluon plasma, for instance, has been synthesized in laboratories, and matter-antimatter pairs have been produced to align with early universe predictions. Through these experiments and by analyzing the cosmic microwave background's fluctuations, we have a well-supported picture of the universe's evolution. But significant mysteries remain. For example, if all regions of space were once compressed into a single point, why do we observe such uniformity in the universe's temperature? By traditional models, areas of space should display varied temperatures since they wouldn't have had time to exchange energy or information. Additionally, we might expect to find remnants from the hottest epochs, such as magnetic monopoles or spatial irregularities, yet none are observed. These discrepancies open the door to new possibilities. Either the universe inherently possessed these balanced properties from the outset, or there was some mechanism that imposed these conditions. One candidate explanation is cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion theorized to have occurred before the Big Bang itself. On December 7, 1979, physicist Alan Goose proposed a revolutionary idea. He theorized that before the hot Big Bang, the universe experienced an exponential expansion. This inflationary phase could explain why the universe appears flat, homogeneous, and isotropic. After inflation, the universe would transition into the hot, dense state associated with the Big Bang, setting the stage for galaxies, stars, and planets to form. However, as scientists now realize, even cosmic inflation does not resolve every anomaly. For example, groundbreaking observations by the JWST have revealed surprisingly large galaxies from the universe's infancy, suggesting an accelerated formation rate that inflation alone doesn't explain. The JWST's incredible capabilities offer humanity an unprecedented glimpse into the cosmos. This $10 billion infrared telescope has captured breathtaking images of the early universe, revealing an array of massive, luminous galaxies from when the universe was only a fraction of its current age. While astronomers previously believed they had a solid understanding of how matter coalesced to form the first stars and galaxies, the JWST findings suggest a much more rapid evolution than expected. These observations have stirred excitement and caution among scientists, as some theorists are compelled to revisit fundamental assumptions about galaxy formation. According to astrophysicist Erica Nelson, massive galaxies observed within the first 500 million years of cosmic history defy existing models. The JWST's preliminary findings indicate that galaxies in this early epoch may be far more massive and numerous than previously thought, potentially housing masses comparable to today's large galaxies like the Milky Way. This rapid growth challenges current cosmological models, which propose that a galaxy of such scale wouldn't form until 1 to 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Nelson's research suggests that galaxies may be growing more aggressively than anticipated, leading to the possibility of new theoretical frameworks for galactic evolution. Dark matter, an invisible and mysterious substance, is thought to make up about 85% of the universe's mass, shaping the large-scale structure of the cosmos. Conventional cosmology suggests that galaxies form within massive halos of dark matter, which gravitationally draw in ordinary matter, allowing stars and galaxies to coalesce. Yet, JWST observations challenge this model, as galaxies appear to be forming in ways that defy our understanding of dark matter distribution. The presence of dark energy, an equally elusive force responsible for the universe's accelerated expansion, further complicates the picture. Some models suggest that early dark energy, a temporary boost in dark energy density, could have accelerated galaxy formation, potentially aligning with JWST findings. However, such adjustments must reconcile with the broader framework of the standard cosmological model, which has successfully explained cosmic evolution on large scales. As compelling as the Big Bang theory is, it's not the only explanation for the universe's origins. Several alternative theories have gained attention, each offering unique perspectives. The quasi-static state theory, unlike the Big Bang, suggests a universe without a beginning, where matter continually appears as the universe expands. This theory proposes that as galaxies move apart, new matter is generated, 
preserving a uniform density. However, it failed to account for the CMB, which strongly supports a hot, dense early universe. The mirror universe theory, a more speculative concept, posits that two universes were born in the Big Bang, one moving forward in time and the other backward. This twin universe would evolve in reverse, providing a mirror reflection of our own cosmic history. Though highly hypothetical, it suggests that the universe could be more complex than previously imagined. The digital simulation hypothesis raises the possibility that our universe is a simulation crafted by an advanced civilization. Quantum entanglement and the peculiar nature of space-time lend some conceptual weight to the idea, although it remains unprovable. The simulation hypothesis touches on questions of predestination and reality, challenging our understanding of existence. The multiverse theory, a popular alternative, suggests an infinite number of universes, each with its own physical laws. According to this model, dark energy fluctuations trigger multiple Big Bang-like events, producing a vast multiverse. While our universe expands, creating a void of dark energy, this model implies a continuous cycle of creation, collapse, and rebirth. Each of these theories offers unique insights into cosmic origins, posing new questions about the nature of space-time and matter. While the Big Bang theory remains the prevailing explanation, it has been challenged and reshaped by new evidence and fresh perspectives. The JWST, with its unparalleled sensitivity, is poised to unlock even more secrets of the universe. As the telescope continues its mission, upcoming discoveries may revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos, offering a richer, more nuanced narrative about the universe's origins. Ultimately, no single theory can fully explain the complexity of the universe's birth. The quest to understand our cosmic origins is ongoing, and as we venture deeper into the unknown, we continue to uncover mysteries that challenge our understanding of reality itself. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues its extraordinary journey through the cosmos, each new discovery brings us closer to answering the biggest questions about the universe's origins. The telescope's capacity to peer further into the past, closer to the moment of the universe's birth, offers unparalleled opportunities to test and refine our cosmological models. Yet, as we unravel the earliest moments of cosmic history, we are also faced with the realization that some of our most fundamental assumptions may be incorrect or, at the very least, incomplete. One of the most profound questions that persist is whether the Big Bang represents the true origin of the universe or whether there was something that came before it. This question is not just academic. It touches upon the very nature of existence. Theoretical physicists have long grappled with the concept of cosmic time, wondering whether time itself began with the Big Bang or if it is part of a cyclical or infinite process. Ideas such as the cyclic model, which suggests that the universe undergoes endless cycles of birth, death, and rebirth, challenge the notion of a single linear origin point. In this view, the Big Bang is merely one in a series of cosmic cycles, potentially governed by laws of physics we have yet to fully understand. Alternatively, there is the idea of a pre-Big Bang state, an era before the traditional Big Bang, where the universe may have existed in some form that is radically different from our current understanding. Some hypotheses suggest that our universe could be part of a larger multiverse, with other universes having begun through different mechanisms. In this context, the Big Bang might simply be one of many birth events occurring across a vast and complex multiverse. This theory, however, brings with it its own set of challenges, such as the difficulty in making empirical predictions about other universes, which may be fundamentally beyond our observational reach. Moreover, there is the possibility that quantum mechanics holds the key to unraveling the true nature of the universe's origins. The nature of quantum fluctuations, where particles spontaneously appear and disappear, suggests that the universe could have emerged from a quantum vacuum, a state where nothing existed in the classical sense but where quantum fields and potentialities permeated space. This idea aligns with the quantum cosmology model, which posits that the universe arose from a quantum state of pure potential, bypassing the need for a classical beginning. It also opens up intriguing possibilities about the role of quantum gravity and the potential for an all-encompassing theory that could marry quantum mechanics with general relativity, perhaps offering a more unified view of the cosmos. 
However, these ideas are not yet fully supported by empirical evidence, and their validity remains an open question. The challenges of testing these theories are immense, but the JWST is certainly making strides toward gathering the data that could reshape our understanding of the universe's earliest moments. By identifying the most distant galaxies, the telescope is essentially looking into a time when the universe was young and chaotic, with the first stars and galaxies beginning to emerge from the cosmic fog. What happens next may radically alter our view of the universe, or it may simply deepen the mystery. Beyond the technical challenges, the philosophical implications of these discoveries are equally profound. The more we learn about the early universe, the more we are forced to confront questions about the nature of existence itself. Did the universe have a purpose, or is it merely a random cosmic accident? Is there an end to the universe, or will it continue to expand indefinitely, eventually cooling into a vast, lifeless void? The possibilities are staggering, and each new discovery forces us to reevaluate our place in the cosmos. In addition to understanding the origins of the universe, the JWST is also poised to shed light on the fundamental forces that have shaped its evolution. Dark energy, dark matter, and the fundamental forces of nature play critical roles in the universe's large-scale structure, yet we understand so little about them. Dark energy, which is responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, is particularly elusive. We have yet to determine what dark energy actually is or why it behaves the way it does. Some scientists speculate that it may be a form of energy intrinsic to space itself, while others believe it could be a manifestation of some unknown force that operates on the largest cosmic scales. Similarly, dark matter, which makes up roughly 85% of the universe's mass but cannot be directly observed, remains a mystery. The JWST's observations of galaxy formation in the early universe could offer important clues about how dark matter interacts with ordinary matter, possibly revealing more about its elusive nature. Understanding how galaxies formed in the presence of dark matter and how these dark matter structures influence cosmic evolution could be key to solving the puzzle.